In today's video, I am going to show you how to create this paper cutout effect for any object in your videos in just a few simple steps inside Premiere Pro. All right, you can see I have already set up a full HD resolution sequence. Also, I have got two video clips in the timeline. Firstly, we need to capture a screenshot from the second video clip. Next, let's position the time indicator at the very beginning of this clip. I will focus on capturing the very first frame of the second video, which will serve as our screenshot. Once the time indicator is set, look for the camera icon icon that allows us to take the screenshot. If the camera icon is not visible on your screen, you can easily enable it. Just click on the plus icon, then drag the camera icon into your timeline panel, making it accessible for our task. Now, it's time to click on the camera icon. Before proceeding, ensure that you've selected the PNG file format from the drop-down menu. Additionally, make sure to check the option that says Import into Project. Finally, we need to assign a name to our screenshot file. I will name this file Photo1 for easy identification later on. With all these steps completed, we're ready to capture the screenshot. Now you can see, we have the screenshot in the project panel. Let's proceed by dragging and dropping the photo onto the timeline. After placing the photo, right-click on it to access the context menu. From there, select Speed and Duration to modify how long the photo will be displayed. I intend to extend the photo's duration by approximately 35 frames, which translates to an additional 1 second and 5 frames on the timeline. Next, Next, we need to position the photo at the very end of the first video clip to create a seamless transition. Once that's done, our next task is to isolate the main subject of the image by removing the background and enhancing its appearance with some stroke thickness. To achieve this, we will utilize Adobe Photoshop. Simply right-click on the image in the timeline and select Edit in Adobe Photoshop. This action will open the image directly in Photoshop, allowing us to make the necessary adjustments with precision. Once you open your image in Photoshop, you'll find the workspace primed for editing. While Photoshop is a great choice, feel free to use any photo editing software you prefer to remove the background. Start by selecting the Quick Selection tool, which allows you to make precise selections with ease. Then, click on Select Subject to automatically identify and select the main subject of your image. If the selection isn't perfect, you can fine-tune it with the adjustment options available. After making any necessary tweaks, navigate to the Select and Mask option in the menu. And at this point, you'll notice that the background background of the image has been effectively removed. On the Properties panel, choose the option labeled New Layer with Layer Mask. This step creates a new layer that only shows your selected subject. Next, it's time to add a stroke around your subject for definition. Set the stroke thickness to about 17 pixels to give it a bold outline. Make sure that the stroke color is set to white for a clean look. After adjusting these settings, click OK to apply the stroke. Finally, to complete the process, save your edited image in PNG format to preserve the transparency of the background. When prompted, use the same file name as the original image to seamlessly replace it. Once you've replaced the old image, you'll notice the change is reflected automatically in Premiere Pro. Now you can see the image with stroke thickness. It's time to enrich it with some effects. Firstly, I am going to apply a roughen edges effect. Next, let's make some specific adjustments to the first roughen edges effect. We will set the border value to approximately 11 to create a pronounced outline. Then, we will adjust the edge sharpness to about 10. Lastly, we will modify the the scale property, setting it to around 18 to add a sense of depth and complexity to the effect. As you can see, these changes are now reflected on the program monitor, adding a dynamic quality to our visuals. Once we have made these adjustments, we need to copy the first Roughen Edges effect and paste it here again. Now from the bottom Roughen Edges effect, we have to select Rusty for the Edge Type parameter. After that, we need to set the border value to approximately 23. Then, we have to adjust the edge sharpness to about 1.4. Lastly, we will modify the scale property, setting it to around 15 to add a sense of depth and complexity to the effect. These adjustments will not only enhance the image, but also add depth and texture that captivate the viewer's eye. In the following step, we will create a nested sequence for the image, which I'm calling the paper effect. The goal is to implement a reveal animation that will gradually expose the image beneath. To achieve this, we'll apply a crop effect. First, ensure that the time indicator is positioned at the very beginning of the image layer. With this set, our first task is to establish keyframes for the top parameter of the crop effect. This property will allow us to unveil the image in a smooth and controlled manner. Start by setting the top property value to around 100, effectively hiding the entire image from view. Next, right-click on the initial keyframe and select the Hold option to maintain this value until we choose to change it. Now, move the time indicator forward by 5 frames. At this point, adjust the top property value to approximately 80. Again, advance the time indicator 
indicator by another 5 frames. This time, set the top property value to about 60. Continue this process, moving the time indicator forward by 5 frames at each step and gradually lowering the top property value to 40, then 20, and finally to 0 as you reveal the image. By the end of this sequence, you'll see the reveal animation play out on the program monitor, showcasing the image in a captivating and dynamic way. In the next step, I am going to add a drop shadow effect to the image layer to create a sense of depth and dimension. Firstly, let's fine-tune the specifics of this drop shadow. I will adjust the opacity to approximately 80%. Next, I will set the distance property to 0. Finally, we need to increase the softness value to 120 to give the shadow a smooth, blurred edge, enhancing the overall aesthetic. Now, for the paper cutout effect, we need some assets. I have a collection of resources stored on my computer, but you can also download all the necessary assets by using the link provided in the video description. Now we need to drag and drop the crumpled paper overlay into the timeline, placing it in video layer 3. Once positioned, we'll select the set to frame size option to ensure it fits the resolution of our project perfectly. Next, we need to duplicate this image one time, moving the duplicated image to the top layer for more dynamic visual layering. After that, we will apply a track matte key effect to the crumpled paper layer. Next, navigate to the effect controls panel and choose track 4 as the matte layer from the options available under the track matte key effect. As you do this, you should observe the changes reflected on the program monitor. Next, let's enhance the visual impact by adjusting the blending mode. From the blending mode parameter, select screen mode from the drop-down list. This will create a lighter, more translucent effect that beautifully integrates the crumpled overlay with the underlying content, revealing its texture without overwhelming it. The next step is to fine-tune the appearance by applying a brightness and contrast effect to the crumpled paper layer. Head back to the effect controls panel and ensure that the time indicator is positioned at the very start of the layer. We will create keyframes for the brightness parameter, setting its initial value to zero. Now we need to move the time indicator to the end position of the crumpled paper layer. At this point, we will adjust the brightness value to negative 50. As you make these adjustments, observe the enhancements on the program monitor. In the next step, carefully drag and drop the paper overlay onto the timeline. Once it is positioned correctly, we will select the set to frame size option. This ensures that the overlay perfectly fits the resolution of our project. For further refinement, we can utilize the motion controls panel to make precise adjustments to its placement. Next, I will locate the blending mode parameter and select screen mode from the list. Moving on, I will ensure that the time indicator is set at the very beginning of the paper overlay layer. This step is crucial as we will be creating keyframes for the opacity parameter, starting with a value of zero. Next, I will move the time indicator 15 frames forward, where we will adjust the opacity to approximately 60%. At this point, if we check the program monitor, we should be able to see the subtle emergence of the overlay. Now, let's shift the time indicator back to the start of the paper cutout effect. With it positioned correctly, I will right-click on the first video clip and select the Add Frame Hold option. This creates a still frame or freeze frame at that point. To polish the appearance of this freeze frame, I am going to apply a brightness and contrast effect. We need to head over to the Effect Controls panel and create keyframes for the brightness parameter starting at a value of zero. Finally, I will move the time indicator to the end position of this layer, where I will set the brightness value to negative 60. After making these changes, we can check the program monitor to observe the enhancements taking shape. Now, we need to create a new adjustment layer within the project panel in Premiere Pro. Ensure that we accept the same settings as the existing sequence to maintain consistency throughout our project. Once that's set, drag and drop the newly created adjustment layer onto the timeline. Next, we have to cut the adjustment layer on both sides with an equal amount of frames. In this case, I am going to use 5 frames on both sides. After adjusting the length, be sure to cut off any excess portions of the adjustment layer, ensuring a smooth edit. Now, I will introduce a brightness and contrast effect to the adjustment layer. Navigate over to the Effect Controls panel, where we will set keyframes for both the brightness and contrast parameters. Initially, set their values to zero. Once that's done, position these first keyframes at the very start of the adjustment layer to establish our baseline. Then, we will create additional keyframes with the same value of zero and move these to the end of the adjustment layer. To add depth to our effect, move the time indicator to the midpoint of the adjustment layer. Here, we will elevate the brightness and contrast values to around 150, respectively, creating a striking visual impact at this pivotal moment. Finally, to enrich our project further, we need to incorporate sound effects. These audio elements will complement the visual effects beautifully, crafting a more immersive and engaging experience for the
the audience. With these careful steps, we have successfully created a captivating paper cutout effect in Premiere Pro. I hope you found this tutorial enjoyable and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments.